Hello and welcome to part 3 of the Java login form that we are building and in the previous one we finished off the interface for the login form uh, we kept it like this and um, as you can see this isn't pure black it's like an extremely dark brown but that's fine for now so now what we're going to do is we're going to add validation so like if there is no username and password we wanted to highlight the two labels so what we're going to do for that is make a comment here and we're going to say validate one okay so class uh, validate one uh, implement action action listener uh, a bit slower now I don't know why public void action performed and action event because we want uh, action event e because we want all of this to happen uh, when the button is clicked so as all in eclipse um, i don't know how it's done in that means i don't use it you can either over hover it and say import uh, the action listener but what i like to do is just control shift o then it adds exactly what i need and then i also think it changes the swing from all it adds automatically it's a nice feature makes things very useful so what we're going to do here um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to create two variables we're going to say string username is equal to null and then we're going to say string uh, password is equal to null because we want this to be null every time it's pressed then try catch you can never trust user oh, what is going on with this laptop uh, catch exception uh, validates error so you can call this whatever you want to but at the moment it doesn't care we're not really too interested in that and uh, what we're going to go ahead here and we're going to say we're going to say in our variables that we're going to declare it and say username is equal to user uh, username field dot get text dot trim so it gets rid of any additional space afterwards and then we're going to also say that password. So we're going to say password is equal to password field dot get text dot trim. And then this is probably going to be decapitate or yeah, I thought that was going to happen. But anyway, it's not really too important. This is just to get the data because nine out of ten times when you're writing it, you don't have this for like products for users to just connect directly to your database you'll have this connect to your own written server or apache or tomcat i preferably like writing my own servers it's more secure i get to control it so you can just make the client do some validation before the content arrives at the server because i believe in programming you should you should make uh, things as efficient as possible but at the same time you need to make things as safe as possible because like with SQI injections is crazy someone could uh, break get the source code of your application and put in drop your table and it drops all your tables and it just becomes crazy so then from here what we're going to go and do we're going to say we're going to put an if statement we're going to test it so we can say oh I see what's happening it's I keep pressing the trackpad so anyway we're going to say if uh, username is what dot equals nothing and password dot equals nothing then we want it to spit out well we don't want it to spit out anything out <laughs> we just want it let's get to this because I don't want to constantly write this over and over again so let me just change it and password label and then we're gonna make this zero 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 because we two for five uh, zero zero because we wanted to point it out it's like hey you don't enter any content and um, now to like if you go and run this nothing's gonna happen it's just gonna say blank because we haven't attached the button to anything we haven't linked it and uh, given it an action listener yet so what we do is we'll go back to our buttons um, section and 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to say login button dot add action listener. You see it pops up there, and then you just say new class, so new validate one, and then put your brackets like that. Hold on, what is wrong? Uh, yeah, just copy and paste that. Hmm. What is wrong? Let's hop and see there. No closing instance of type login is accessible. Type login. X is an instance of login. Hmm. Let me pause and get right back to you. Okay, sorry about that. So the problem is um, this is all right, but the class seems to be static. So go ahead and say static class. Now error should disappear. Oh wait, um, because I was playing around. So validate one, and there we go. Our error has disappeared. Now let's go ahead and give this a try. So run it and run login. Now you can see because we haven't filled anything in, uh, Java's like, whoa, these two fields are empty, and uh, I've been told that I should highlight these with red, depending on whether or not the fields are empty or not. So, um, like now, if you go and write stuff in there, it's just going to stay the same because we haven't written another condition, which we will. But let me run it again and just stuff. Now, you see, because both fields are full, it's not going to, even if you get rid of one, it's not. And we like in this case, when the password field is empty, we want it to show, hey, the password field's empty. So, now let's go and do that. So, let's go and write an. Uh, else statement here so else if hold on if uh, username field dot equals nothing then we want you to just go and say use it well let's actually do this because you have to keep setting the colors for it and we will make this 50 again like the original color and then else uh, if password, why am I saying that? I should just say uh, username because we're not using the text box anymore. We got rid of that. Uh, equals nothing. Then we want you to, to do pretty much the same here. Except let's just copy that so we don't have to constantly write it again and again and again. So let's just make this. Okay, now let's go ahead and give this a run. Let's see what happens. So now if we run it, both of them pitch up. Now if we say blah 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 or whatever, the username goes away. So we still need to put in a password. Click it again and that should have changed. Why has that not changed? So um, let's get rid of that. Okay, so we need to obviously put in more. Um, let's just go here and say else. Yeah, let's just go and make them both 50-50. You can refine this as you go. So let's go to the password. Let's bring it back. Okay, it seems to be working now. So there we go. Oh uh, yeah. Um, also, if you don't want this to be resizable, let me close that. You can go to just want to say uh, frame, say frame dot set resizable false. Um, I don't recommend it because some operating systems, like if you run this on Linux or Ubuntu, it just wouldn't look right. It looks strange. So there we go. So now you can see there's no way to make it larger or smaller. Also, you can change the self panel color, but I always believe keep things simple. Um, it's a term kiss, keep it simple, stupid, or something like that. But anyway, this was part three of the login form. Um, subscribe, keep watching, and watch, let's say, watch the fourth one.